Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flare Gun for Tutorial Cinema, and in this video, I'll be going over the new features in Sony's Ve Sony Vegas Pro 11 that was recently released, I think a week or two ago. Um, I like it a lot. I have the trial version right now, and uh, hopefully, I will be purchasing it purchase, purchasing it soon. And um, link to this page where you can download the trial um, is hopefully in the description, or just go to SonyCreativeSoftware.com and uh, you can find it there. So basically what I'll be going over is the changes. Now right away from the get-go you don't notice much. Uh, the, the the panels haven't been changed much. Um, it almost, it actually looks um, exactly similar except with a few button changes up here and stuff to uh, when you first open up Sony Vegas Pro 10. But, um, but there are some really cool changes that I will go over. So the first change I want to go over is um, in the transitions, video effects, and media generators. There is now folders um, that you can either have all, or it will separate them into different kinds of transitions, video effects, or media generators. And also, you can search for a plugin. Let's say, let's say I wanted to get to clock wipe, but I didn't see it here, and I want to find it faster. So I could just type in clock wipe. And there we go. I have that transition already waiting for me, and uh, and stuff like that. And I still have um, everything that Sony Vegas had. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the trimmer because I don't like that there. So we can see all these transitions that we still have and uh, everything like that. Same with video effects and media generators. All is the same. Um, so the next thing I want to go over is the GPU acceleration. Now. I do not know much about this, um, but I can go ahead and tell you, uh, and you can also look this stuff up on the website, um, but the GPU acceleration is um, basically when you are rendering a video or doing something that uh, uses a CPU to uh, you know, operate in Sony Vegas, if you enable this option, it will use the help of your graphics card to render or do whatever. So to, to, to enable this, what we need to do is we need to head up to Options, Preferences, then we need to go to the Video tab, and you will see GPU Acceleration of Video Processing. Now all video, car now all video graphics cards, or just graphics cards in general, are not compatible. As you see, mine is not, so I only have the off um, option. But if yours is compatible, the name, the brand of your graphics card will show up. You can click that and you can do OK. And once you restart your program, it will uh, be enabled. Um, so that is pretty much GPU acceleration. Hopefully it will increase your render times. Um, so the next thing I want to go ahead and uh, tell and mention is that when you um, create a new video track and let's add some text media, um, you will notice when it comes up that it looks a lot different. The text is um, changed quite a bit. You can see you can actually drag it around on here and edit the size and whatnot on the actual video screen. And you will see that here. Let me extend this. Um, oops, not me to do that. Um, you will also see that the window is very different. And um, and one thing that I noticed also is that under the presets, there are a lot better presets. Um, let's go ahead. I haven't seen this one yet. Coming at you. So uh, let's let's go ahead and play that and see what it looks like. Okay, well mine is very laggy. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and pre-render it. If you guys don't know how to pre-render it, it uh, kind of well, I guess you could go ahead and call it pre-rendering. But we can see it in slow motion. Um, I guess it looks like it's uh, it's fading in here. Um, but my point is is that there are a lot better preset um, text animations and text. Uh, how it looks um, in Sony Vegas Pro 11 and also you know I'm gonna go ahead and stop that you guys can check that all out for yourself um, but the the, uh, the customization um, has increased a lot you can do with so much more things and uh, and the keyframing has uh, has also been upgraded um, when you want to keyframe something just click the clock and you will see that it produces a timeline um, of whatever whatever uh, d detail or whatever it's called um, I can't get that. There we go. Um, so now you can see that uh, the text color is yellow, and you can, and it actually, it's actually yellow in the in the timeline too, which is pretty cool. And it has a separate keyframing thing, so you can change that individually as well. And if you just want to undo that, just click the clock again. So um, the text is a lot better in Sony Vegas 11. I like it very much. Um, haven't gotten to mess around with it too much. Um, but the next thing I want to do is actually let's go ahead and drop that text back in here. Um, so I can show you the next thing. Um, when we go up to file, we can now upload 
videos straight to YouTube from Sony Vegas. Um, I'm not going to do this option because, as I as I can tell, um, the uh, the the video quality isn't as um, like I can't edit the video quality. I know I do not know what that well, like how that works. Maybe whatever your render as is set to, it will do that automatically. I'm not sure. Um, but you can you put your username, password. You can edit the title, description, category, and tags, the broadcast options, and the quality all from here, and s upload it straight to YouTube. Um, so that is very very cool. I will probably use this feature once I learn more about it. Um, but that is also pretty pretty cool in Sony Vegas 11. Now um, the last thing that I noticed that is important to me is the render as has also changed very much. Um, as you can see, the window looks a little, heck of a lot different, and uh, and you can see all of your presets right here in a nice uh, clean window. And, uh, and also, there's filter options. Which uh, let's say I wanted I wanted to only keep the audio. Like I have a, I brought a music video into here, and I want to rip the video off of it, or rip the the audio, I guess, so I can only keep the audio. Um, so I will save it as an audio template. But I do not have audio in my, uh, you know. Um, in my project here so I'm not gonna get any options here but you can also do that with video um, so yeah it's really cool and uh, you can there's a lot more options um, for presets um, so that's pretty much cool you guys can go around and mess with this you can customize the templates this pretty much looks the same there are a few more options um, I, I don't recognize this video quality bar um, maybe that's just an experience but um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. The uh, I went over the search bar and folders, the GPU acceleration, the text interface, um, the uh, upload to YouTube button, and the render as. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something uh, out of this video. I do recommend trying out Sony Vegas 11. Hopefully the link is in the description unless I forget. But uh, please send in your tutorial gu tutorials, guys. Maybe uh, send in some new t Sony Vegas 11 tutorials. Um, actually, I do not have any submissions right now, so any would be helpful. Um, see you guys next time.